Hi guys, my name is Ashley Whitmer and I'm going to show you one of these snacks that I eat all the time, keto friendly, literally one ingredient. Um, this is like a personal pet peeve. Um, I see people all the time, they are buying like $4 bags of the cheese wisps or the cheese crisps, whatever you buy, wherever you buy them. And I get it, you get like a lot of them, super convenient, the price doesn't seem that bad, and you know, it's easy one, two, three, done. But you literally can make any kind of cheese crisps you want at home in less than a minute with one ingredient, it being cheese. You don't even have to buy shredded cheese. If you wanna shred it yourself and buy different flavors, that's great. I've done it with, um, I've done it with like Gouda cheese or any other kind that I wanted to use, like a pepper jack, but I just buy shredded cheese and I use shredded cheese and a paper plate literally and my microwave and it's done so quick just for the sake of showing you like the recipe let's go on over to my microwave my poor skill here okay so you're literally just going to take your paper plate take whatever kind of shredded cheese that you want and you know what guess guess how big of a cheese crisp that you want sorry that light's so bad um guess how big you want just put the cheese in the center of the plate um, just in like a, a circle or a blob if you want to do like a couple little ones if you want to do one big one and use it as like a taco shell or a wrap you can go ahead and feel free so a little bit I don't know if you can see really but I just have like kind of a small one just by judging by the size of the cheese crisp that you want to make you will be able to know, okay, I need this long in my microwave. So also if you just listen, you can hear when it starts to crackle and cook and you'll be able to tell a little bit when your cheese crisp is done. So, one sec, it's cooking. You can make as many as you want, so quick, right in the microwave, no dirty dishes, no nothing, you know exactly what you're getting. And as you can see, it's just, it made into a crisp. So, now I'm going to give it a second to cool so I'm not burning my fingers. Give it a second. If it needs like another second or two because you're essentially just like burning the cheese, if you will, to crisp it up how you want it. It does take a little trial and error. I don't want to give you like an exact amount of time in the microwave because again, it depends on your microwave and it depends on how big you want your cheese piece to be. But y'all know. And you can use these for seriously anything. Like I said, tacos, just to break apart a munch on. You can crack them up and put them like on top of salads or soup. I go to take it off the plate it literally will just like it's hot I'm sorry but it will literally just come up <laughs> like it will come up okay at this point like I said you can fold it and kind of hang it over something and make this into a taco shell I have a taco shell <laughs> isn't that awesome or you can make it bigger and make a wrap Put lunch meat in there, hummus, guacamole, uh, anything like that. Uh, I apologize, this lighting is so bad, but you can see now it's completely crisped up, and I have my own delicious cheese crisps just by using a paper plate and shredded cheese and putting it right in my microwave. So good, so so good. Let me know if you try them. Let me know if you have a different way, a little secret hack. I hope you enjoy them and make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can get more value, more content, more recipes, and more tips. Let me know if you try this and what you think and thank you guys so much for watching.